Today, we're going to see how many layers of greenhouse plastic can fit into a single piece of spring wire channel. We're not only going to run this test with 6mm greenhouse plastic, which is the most common covering, we're also going to test this channel's ability to hold multiple layers of the heavier and thicker woven greenhouse plastics, which have gained recent popularity. And if that's not enough, make sure you stick around until the end of this video, because we're also going to see how this spring wire channel can handle adding insect screen when there's already a couple layers of plastic and wire in the channel. Let's get to it. For those unfamiliar with this hardware, here's how it works. Spring wire channel is attached to the frame of a structure over the end bows or to the face of your end wall for example and then plastic is laid over top of the channel and then spring wire is pushed over the plastic and is bent back and forth over top of that plastic securing it to the channel beneath it pretty cool stuff all right time for the first test, which will be with the 6 mil plastic covering. And before we get going, I should probably state that the tests we do in this video is using the channel we carry here at Tunnel Vision Hoops, which might be a little deeper than channel from some of the other suppliers out there, so just keep that in mind as you watch along. Let's start with 6 mil greenhouse plastic, and we'll just put each piece in here with a piece of wire, and we'll leave the wire in here. That way, you can see how well the channel can hold plastic and wire. It's so one layer with wire, it's two layers with wire, it's three layers with wire. So let's try four layers with wire. I mean, it looks, it looks tight, but it's, it's definitely still in there. So this is four layers of plastic with wire. Let's go for a fifth and see what happens here. So this is five layers plus wire. Now, I think that's probably gonna be the limit based on the way that one went in there. Let's just take a look here. That's five layers of wire and five layers of poly. So we're gonna go for a six because what's the point of testing this if we don't really go for it? So let's go for six layers of wire and six layers of plastic. Oh, I don't think we're gonna get it. I don't think we're gonna get it. So five layers of this plastic and five layers of this wire. So it's not just five layers of plastic, one piece of wire, it's plastic, wire, plastic, wire five times. That's pretty impressive. Now it's time to, to move on to, in this situation, it's nine mil woven greenhouse plastic, a pretty popular woven material. Let's see how this can handle it. So that's one piece. This is the second piece here. Let's try the third piece now, getting that third piece set up. It doesn't look to be getting too tight. Let's go with this fourth piece here. So fourth piece, woven plastic. And usually if you can get this first part in, it means you're gonna have success on the rest of it. So four pieces of woven plastic, four pieces of wire. Can we get a fifth? I think it's gonna be tight. I think it's gonna be tight, but let's see what we can do here. I don't know. No, I don't think we got it. I think that if we were to try to do this on a structure, it would eventually fail anyways, because it's wanting to pop out. So woven greenhouse plastic. So you can fit four layers of the nine mil with four pieces of the wire. So four pieces of the nine mil with four pieces of the wire. Now we're going to do two quick insect screen tests. We're gonna put three layers of plastic with three layers of wire, and then we're going to try to put 75 mesh insect screen over top of all of it. Let's give that a go right now. Insect screen here, 75 mesh. It's getting a little tough. Actually, that's holding no problem. So now we know that this channel can hold three layers of six mil plastic, one layer of 75 mesh insect screen, and four pieces of spring wire. Now for our second insect screen test, we have three layers of woven plastic with three layers of wire, and we're gonna try to put 75 mesh insect screen over it all. So let's give that a try. Right, we got some insect screen. We wanna put it on, it's after the fact. We already bought the tunnel, installed the tunnel. How are we gonna do this here? Let's check it out. You know what? That's actually going in no problem. All right. So yeah, three pieces of woven plastic and then also insect screen. 
and it's held nice and firm. It doesn't have any seeming issues that it would pop out. Hopefully this video gave you a better idea of how many layers of different materials can fit in the spring wire channel that we carry at Tunnel Vision Hoops. If you're interested in this material, I'll have links to where you can find it in the description below. And if you like videos on season extension and season extension structures, consider subscribing to our channel. And thanks for watching.